It's really crucial to cast trans people in trans roles. The beginning of my sort of discovery of my gender identity was because I had access to the internet and I was like researching and like, you know, seeing other trans men on YouTube. It's important that people see themselves represented on screen. I think it really means a lot to other young trans men who are trying to find someone to look up to, someone they can relate to and just maybe feel like they're not as alone. I actually identify similarly to Buck. Um, I identify as transmasculine and I only use he, him pronouns just like Buck. I do like experiment a little more with my gender expression and presentation just because I think that makeup is genderless and jewelry is genderless. Buck and I have similar identities but different styles. In part two of the OA, I play um, Buck Fu, who is the character that everyone knows from part one in one dimension, and then in a second dimension, I play Michelle uh, Vu, who has not asked anyone to use Buck or he, him pronouns yet. And this is just my personal interpretation of the story, but um, I believe that Michelle is like a pre-transition version of Buck and has maybe not come to terms with their gender identity yet. Michelle is a bit of a mystery, so we're not sure at what point in Michelle's social transition um, they're at. It was interesting for me to play a character that hasn't socially transitioned yet, but in a lot of my life I have had to put on a female facade to um, please the people around me, or maybe I wasn't comfortable enough telling people that I was trans. I was on board with playing Michelle. The director made sure I was comfortable with it beforehand, so I definitely don't want anyone being concerned about like my dysphoria because I was fine. I actually do enjoy wearing wigs and makeup in drag sometimes, um, so it was kind of fun. I got to put on a different costume. The OA was like really my first opportunity to be in an environment where everyone respected my gender identity, and I feel like that really made me feel um, so excited about my future moving forward in the film industry and also to work with the family that I made on set for the OA. Um, and I'm really excited for everyone to see part two and to see how close we've grown together.